Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17 on the iPhone 12. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys. And I know you guys love these, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be coming up with a lot of iPhone 12 videos on iOS 17. So if you are interested into that, make sure to turn on notification and subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into today's video and talk about the iPhone 12 on the iOS 17. So first of all, before starting this video, let me tell you all the type of reviews I make is based on my personal experience, things that actually matter. See, everyone's going to tell you, even I am going to tell you about new features and changes in my separate what's new features video. But my reviews are going to be focused on day to day life. In this video, we are going to discuss about basic things. How has been the battery life? How has been the gaming performance? How has been the day to day opening apps and using social media? In short, how has been my overall experience using this device? And do the new features come in handy while using my iPhone 12? on the ios 17 let's get right in today's video and also conclude in the end of the video is it worth installing it right now or not all right so starting this video with the battery life which is one of the biggest factor of every update i know you are in this video watching this video one of the biggest factor you are worried about before installing ios 17 is the battery life the battery life on iphone 12 is Okay, see, iPhone 12 was never good in terms of battery life. So do not really have your hopes up if you are a new user of iPhone 12, if you recently bought it. So don't really be worried that much because iPhone 12s were really infamous for having bad battery life. iPhone 12 does last me about five to five and a half hours of screen on time before I have to charge it at around 10 to 12 percent I charge it daily and it does not last me through my whole day obviously uh, like I keep on plugging this phone when it reaches uh, around 25 to 30 percent but the days when I was not near my charger I ended up with just one percent left during the end of the day like that was a bit too scary now the big thing that comes here is is it any better than ios 16 the answer is yes but not really let me explain the battery life on the ios 16 was already not the best and it was not really good so on ios 17 the battery life is definitely improved but it is still not improved to a part where I would say it is really good. All right, so I don't really think so. You guys should be concerned that much about battery life because at the end of the day, it is definitely a little bit better than iOS 16, which is the version you are coming from. So don't really be that much worried about battery life. It is noticeably better. But uh, yeah, I just think so that iPhone 12s, are not the best in terms of battery life and i have never had good experience with my iphone 12 in terms of the battery life regardless how much is the battery health then talking about the performance which is our next segment the performance on iphone 12 is amazing all right apple silicon let's talk about it wow i am so genuinely impressed by how fast this phone feels on ios 17 from iOS 70, 16 to iOS 17, this device definitely feels faster. Even if it is not really fast on numbers, like when I tested it on Geekbench, the scores were quite similar, but it definitely feels faster. The animations are fast. The scrolling feels a little bit more smoother and fast as well. In general, the iOS 17 feels more faster and responsive to the touch the performance is definitely a really good upgrade on ios 17 i can definitely feel the performance jump though wait a minute there is a catch when you do game a lot and when you game intensive for example games like pubg for or bgmi for a longer period of time for like 30 to 45 minutes or more than that the device does get warm and noticeably warm and because it gets warm it gets throttled 
and the performance bogs down. So there is that and it does get warm noticeably more compared to iOS 16. So if you do game on your device a lot, just keep this in mind. I'm not saying that it will get really, really warm and it won't be usable, but yeah, if you are installing it, make sure to know this that it will get a bit more warm compared to iOS 16. The standby feature is definitely the only feature that I use the most and it affects my life day to day. I use it on my table, I keep my device beside me while on charging in landscape mode and the standby mode gets activated automatically. The standby mode is really useful and it is definitely one of the best and my favorite feature of iOS 17 which I use day to day. Also not to forget because it is an OLED display on iPhone 12, it can the benefit of saving the battery life and looks more prettier while being on always on mode i mean the standby mode that is really good because people on iphone 11 iphone 10r they also have the standby feature but because they do not have an oled panel they will have some issues with the standby thing because Standby will not look as cool as it looks on an OLED panel. You know what I'm saying. Concluding the video, is it worth installing it on your iPhone 12 or not? The answer is definitely yes. It is an amazing update and I would definitely suggest you guys to install it and use it because it is out for public. There is no issues as such right now. I haven't found any big bugs or things that may affect people in using their devices on this firmware but still i would suggest you guys to take a backup before installing because you are jumping from a 16 to 17 like that is a big jump a whole os jump so whenever you update like this whenever you install such a big update make sure to take a backup of your device just in case things went wrong. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. The public version of iOS 17 will be out on 18th of September. I am using an RC version, which is basically the same version that you guys will get on 18th of September. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped, and I am signing off. Peace.